The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hey, Kara Ustraus here with realagriculture.com. It's time for another Wheat School episode. We're at the time of the year your crops are likely well emerged and we're getting into spraying season. Now, one of the things you're maybe considering spraying on your farm is a plant growth regulator. It has very specific timing though. There's a certain window. Jeremy Boychin, Agronomy Research Extension Specialist with Alberta Wheat and Barley Commissions joins me in this episode to talk about staging that crop and why it's important that you actually spray within that window check out the conversation now so Kara right now there are two plant growth regulators available for wheat in Alberta Western Canada that is manipulator and modus uh, manipulator the gibberellin biosynthesis inhibitor uh, is staged for Zadox growth stage 31 32 and modus is staged for growth stage, Zadox growth stage 30 to 32. So a little bit wider on that modus. And when we're talking about growth stage 31, 32 on the Zadox scale, that is uh, sometimes referred to as first and second node. And when we're talking about growth stage, Zadox growth stage uh, 30 to 32, um, that's the beginning of stem elongation to second node. And for anyone who works on the BBCH scale, uh, it's the same as a Zadox scale. So Zadox scale 31, 32 would be the same as BBCH 31, 32. Um, so those are the, the two different timings for manipulator and modus. So why is it important that we're actually following these uh, timing? Why is it crucial to have it within that window? Yeah, so uh, these are very particular products and when it comes with comes to application. Um, so getting the right timing means you're gonna get the most out of that product. Uh, so we can't, because there's so many factors that determine the, the growth of wheat, um, we can't just say it's going to be a certain amount of days after seeding. <clears throat> and we also can't say it's going to be after a certain amount of leaves or when a certain amount of leaves are out. Uh, we can give a general kind of guideline where around three to four leaf stage you're going to want to start monitoring to see whether you're getting close um, but you really need to get in and cut that that plant open um, and see whether you're at that growth stage 30 to 32 or 31 to 32 depending on the product that you're using to make sure you're getting the most out of your product um, so this means that uh, you know if you're applying a pgr you're going to want to go in at pgr timing um, and and uh, you know, it's not always going to align with your herbicide timing and, and vice versa. So talk me through it. You're going to go out to your field and you're going to pull up these plants. What are you actually looking for when it comes to that time? So as always, when you're going into your field, you're want, going to want to look in representative parts of your field. And when you get there, you're going to pull up a couple plants uh, and you're going to look for that main tiller. Um, what you're doing is finding that main tiller and you're going to strip all the extra tillers off of the side of that main tiller and you're going to strip any of the extra leaves off of there. Um, once you get that, you're going to feel down from the uh, from the top part of that stem all the way down and what you're feeling for when you get to the bottom part of that stem is a little bump uh, and that's going to be a little node initiating. Um, if you don't feel that yet uh, it either means you're not um, you know, not, not able to feel it. Uh, it's, it can be kind of small sometimes on wheat um, but if you can feel it that means you want to split that stem open and look to see where the nodes are at. Uh, so the very bottom where the roots meet the stem is gonna be your tillering node. And the way we gauge what growth stage you're at is going to be how many nodes are above that tillering node in the stem and how far those nodes are away from the tillering node. So when you only have that tillering node at the bottom and you can see that little head um, and, and it's starting to elongate, you can't feel any other nodes, you're at growth stage 30. Um, as that starts to grow up, you'll feel one individual node. When that gets to one, more than one centimeter away from the tillering node, that means you are at growth stage 31. It's going to continue to push up and you're going to get a new node that's going to develop in between that first node and below the little head that you can see there in that stem. When that one develops and is at, at two centimeters above that initial node, which would be above then that tillering node, then you're at growth stage 32. So your tillering node, first node at one centimeter above, and then the second node above that, which is two centimeters above, and then you'll see your little head. 
is going to be at growth stage 32. So you really want to be hitting um, manipulator in that growth stage 31 to 32 and modus in that growth stage 30 to growth stage 32. I'd like to say that, um, you know, when we're doing this for either wheat or barley, I know this is a wheat school, uh, that the the way to identify growth stage on barley is going to be the same for wheat. Uh, it might be a little bit more obvious because the nodes are a little bit bigger on barley, but the process is going to be the same. The growth stages uh, are going to be different, so make sure you look at the labels to make sure you're, you're doing the right timing for the right crop with the right product. Okay, absolutely. Thank you, thank you very much, Jeremy. Thank you.